Yes, we're back with another video. Opening the curtains, let some light in. Bit of a delay between this video and the last video. Just been busy, man. Just been busy. I'm actually going to turn you a little bit this way. You ain't going to be blocked out by the light then, am I? What's good, team? I'm going to eat and talk because I want to eat and talk to get this food down because, as you can see, it's a high day. And as you see the title of the video, it's a full day of eating video. <laughs> it's a high day. So, game plan of what's going on with myself, where I am right now. So last time uh, I spoke, I think I spoke about we're going to have a short little blast. The weekend gone, I just got my blood work. So I've had blood work done. Going to start a short little blast. So when we're going into prep, we're going to be full as a house. We'll have a little period, a little couple of weeks where we'll have some lower anabolics. And it basically gives me this moment in time just to be in like a full blasting stage Going into uh, going into prep in terms of my muscles are going to be very full. It's going to be full as a house. All right, so we're having another little push, a little bit more of a squeeze to put a little bit more muscle tissue on. See if I can get my arms up a little bit, little areas like that. Overall, just need to bring everything overall up. Uh, but certainly, as these over these next sort of six weeks that we'll probably have, be able to do a push. Certainly, will as long as my elbows can take it, I'm going to look to try and just have a little smidge more arm volume going across the week. See if I can get away with it. That being said, without further ado, we'll get involved with the eating. Today, uh, the, the diet actually hasn't changed. So, high day, three cookies, get them in. We've got 125 grams of cream of rice, two rice cakes, 20 grams of jam, 15 grams of nut butter, and two soups, two and a half scoops of the whey isolate. Eat and mess. Nice, it's a nice flavor. It goes, you know what, I've got chocolate salted caramel cream of rice with that. You wouldn't think it would taste nice, but it does. Hmm, banging. This is my first meal of the day. So I'm gonna train after one meal, one, one meal, and then we'll get the rest of the food going out throughout the day. Nice chill day today in terms of workload. Check-in's done this morning. And it's about nine o'clock now, so check-ins are all done. And I've just got some new starter plans to crack on with. So in between meals, that's what we'll do. Hmm, lovely. A lovely day. Cycle-wise, because we're in a very short period of time, instead of sort of escalating dosages, we've just gone bang with it. So 500 test, 400 primo, 200 MPP. For some of you, you might be thinking, that's not a lot, that's not a lot. It's effective. It will do its job, all right? As you've seen throughout my whole my whole journey that really haven't really pushed the boat crazy with the anabolics. Don't get me wrong, we are using some growth hormone, yet again still running that 4RU per day. Split two in the morning, two well, two of two fasted, two pre-bed. And then also on high days, because of the you know large amount of carbohydrates that we're doing, we are using a bit of fast acting insulin. So about 15 RU with this meal. Don't just copy and paste what I'm doing. Make sure if you want to start using some bits, go get yourself a coach. Go get yourself someone who knows what they're doing or do some big research. Go do uh, the J3U level one course or something like that. Oh, I'll tell you what though, this is banging. Also, cheat meal today. Mmm, <laughs> lovely. I won't put it on camera, but because I'll be in a rush. Because I always am. The what do you call it? Intra workout. I'll have 15 G of EAAs, and I'll have uh, about 80 grams of carbs from cycling dextrin. I'm using the highly branched cluster dextrin at a minute from complete strength. Sits well with me. It's nice. The EAA, I've got his cola flavour as well. That's not a bad one as well. Really nice. Seems to be settling a lot better than the grape shit that I had before. Oh, back home. I'm eating post-workout in the office today. Because you know I was on the phone, so I'm filming. And, uh, yeah, just going to eat it here. Feels good. Good little... Got a nice bit of the neighbours. Got the little bit of the gap that was there. Just a bit of scenery, a bit of sky. Going to sit here. And my post-workout meal is two bagels. We've got 60 grams of jam. And we've got a protein shake. Definitely when we start getting in the depths of prep, this will be chicken and rice. But for now, bagel, jam, you know what I mean? We've got the uh, shake. We've got the off-season option. This is like the bulking option. As we've got six weeks of pushing to do, 
This is what will be eaten post-workout. Light work. Training session was good. Didn't film any of it. It's not really needed to be filmed. The next one I'll film. So you can get an idea of how do we rehab from a small injury, a little strain on the front delt. How do we work around that? And certainly today we did. Still got a good pump, felt good. Some exercises I can push, some ones that we definitely can't. And we'll have to ease myself back in and taper the strength. But from when the, when the last push session I did, when I did it, I'll tell you what, I felt miles better. <laughs> miles better. So should be able to go in pretty strong with Paul tomorrow. Legs, don't have to worry about that. Not fucking using any of this shit. Boom. Just fucking hard work on the old, all the old wheels. Um, I was going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. Either way, that's my first, this is my post-workout meal. I'm going to do this, going to have a shower, going to sit here on a, we'll start up some new starter plans. I've got a few messages I want to get to, so what I'll do is eat this, do the messages, have a shower, then there you go. Do you see what I mean? Next level. Mmm. Mmm. It's about eight out of ten. Look at that. Who needs donuts when you've got bagels and jam? You know what I'm saying? Fucking hell. Right. Let me eat my meal in peace. <laughs> All right, we're back in for another meal. Oh my God. I can't believe it. There's a hair on my fucking muffin. A ginger hair. I wonder who that's from. You can fuck right off. The meal, it is breakfast for lunch. So what we usually have as meal one, we're having as meal three. Lunchtime meal. And we're having some Coke Zero with some ice, which is my new thing that I've got into. Chanel's so got these massive ice cubes, like the little things you put and make ice cubes, and they're massive. So I can only fit one big one and one mm, moderate sized one, bigger than a normal one. Oh man, it's so good. Ice, Coke Zero together is a great combination. It's, un it's unbelievable. That is the most important thing to this meal. It's what makes it. Let's get into the grub. Six whole eggs, one bagel, which is an additional from the high day. Banana, one banana, 125 grams of granola, and the additional Sicilian lemon muffin. Glorious gains going to be made from this. Let's hope it can help repair the little front delt peck issue that I've been having. Hopefully it can uh, get right in there. The nutrients straight to that place. The muffin, those healing powers. There we go. And I'm back to pressing the 60s like there's nothing. Uh, yeah, so meal three. I'm going to do one more meal and then we'll have a cheat meal and I'll have my evening meal. I'm on it like clockwork today. Bam, 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 bam. So I'm going to quickly do this, get back on the laptop. Actually, what I'll do, because you've got to think ahead, especially when you're busy, because laptop work absorbs me. I get on there and I can lose two, three hours quite quickly. So what the best thing to do is if I've got rice in my next meal, do the rice now, have that on warm so that when it, I look at the time and it goes ding-a-ling-ling, -ling, time to get a meal, boom, it's just a warm-up thing. I don't have to worry about coming down 20 minutes and losing my sort of... You know, my rhythm, especially when you're getting into your rhythm of your work. We've got music going, you're having a good blast. I even feel like getting my headphones and having a bit of, do you know what I mean? When you lock in with the headphones, like that, I'm like, you know, like limitless. That's what I'm like. I'm a bit like him, me and him. Not that he was a bit of a loser to start with. I'm like where he was when, he, <coughs> when he's at his peak, but without the drop off. Do you know what I'm saying? Next level. Think of him, those brains, John Wick kind of skills with the swagger blade, you get me. See? Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Last thing you're going to see before I turn it off for this meal is the amount of ketchup that I put on my eggs. Why? Because it's anabolic. It's how you're going to grow. I need to get the food down. I'm going to use a little excessive amount of ketchup. That's how it is. Also pepper, bit of pepper on eggs. Lots of salt, bit of pepper, ketchup. Now it's a party. 
Pack it in. I'm recording. Now fuck off. Go away and don't fucking... Oi. I've already missed my meal. Not missed my meal. I've already missed recording it. Carry on, Alright, you're going to stand there, are you, Chanel? Yeah. You, you're sitting and laughing at me. Sitting and laughing at me. Right? <laughs> yeah, too right. And I'm not fucking cutting it out. You can look that. Oh! I wasn't saying to cut it. Why are you saying about cutting it out? Because you wouldn't listen to me saying it because then you'll see me walking out. Wait, shut up. Listen, fuck off because that will blind me. Look, you've got a little devilish look in your face. Yeah? Right? Kids come. Pack it in. That was you, not me. Yeah. I missed filming the last meal. I had chicken, I had rice, 150 grams of rice with 300 grams of chicken. And that was just a meal. I'm glad that you didn't cause me grief. I appreciate it, Chanel. Even that, right, yeah, fuck off. Yeah. <coughs> you dick. Wait, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Shut up, don't put it in my drink. Don't, because it really, I'll, I've got no, no place to get put fluid. Fuck no, off. No, you need it, it's not hot, look. Shut up, I saw you take a fucking handful out of there. Shut up, don't, 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 please, please. Babe! Put it back, that's my emergency cramp fund. you got shit everywhere now. Fucking hell. Go wash your hands. Salt on your hands, you dickhead. What? what? Oh, <laughs> boring. I love it. Imagine if I did it to her. Can you imagine? I fucking start sp splashing salt and shit in her drinks. She sprayed fucking cleaner in me drink yesterday. Well, you squirted it at me and it went in me drink. Shut out. Fuck off. Because you, you've run up the stairs that you've got to... Right, show me your hand. Show me your hand. Well, I've seen your hand. It's a fucking handful of salt. I ain't even talked about the meal. I said, oh, I have talked about it. Mark, right, this is it. This video has gone from full day of eating to like a down on life of me. When my wife suddenly gets a surge of energy, does anyone else, if anyone else's partner does this, gets a surge of energy, right? I'm sitting here working still and it's like seven something now. Yeah, right? She's been on the sofa having a bit of a chill. She's like this. She's awake. I'm just trying to do, just do a little bit more of this training plan so I get a little, a little bit more done so I can chill on the sofa with her. And, shut out! I know you're there. Fucking knob. Oh, right. That's pretty much it. That's all I was going to say with this. And that's all I can say about it. Welcome to my life. Fucking hell. You were on the stairs. Chanel! Don't bang the ceiling! Fucking hell. Yeah, you are on one. You're on fucking something. Jesus. Oh, uh, right. I was going to, I had something to say. I had something to say. I don't know, I can't remember. I've talked about my gear and I, my cycle that I'm going to do. Um, but I've, I had something else to say and it was important. It was going to help you all. And it was like, ah, oh, do you know what? I wasn't filming. I was thinking about it. It's all, I bet, I'm, I'm probably better off mentioning that as I'm going to be documenting what's going on. But look, at the end of the day, when the camera comes on, it's just what's happening with me there and then in the moment. Open your hand. Open your Chanel. Is, is this like your check-in? Hey? Is that your check-in? No. Yeah. Right. I'm going to do a bit more work and then we've got the cheat meal. Do not let me forget to get the camera out for that because it is banging. All right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, now fuck <laughs> off. Fuck off. Not having that. Go on, Chanel. Show them. Show them. What's Josh's next meal? All of that's mine. What are you oh, eating? Right. 
What are you eating? You know, it's none of that. I bought that all for me. Yeah? Was that? No wonder my what? Fuck it off. I ain't got a belly, you knobhead. And you're white. Well, you're mixed race. So there's a little percentage of white in there. So I don't have a belly. A what? Why is that? Fuck off. I'll put some. I'll put the photos I took today, and we'll let them decide. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was contracting my abs. Actually, you fathead. Behave yourself, oi. Fuck off, or you get no sushi. Yeah, cough up. That's it. Cough up the bullshit. It's coming out of your mouth. It's choking on it. Come, I'm waiting for you. We're oh. dishing it up. I'm sitting here waiting it, oh. waiting for you. You're fucking around in there, playing with your fucking. You know, well, I don't, well you, fuck off then. I mean, you're the one who dishes all the food up always. I'm not sitting dishing now. I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, you do. You don't want sushi. Ah! <laughs> right. Now, let me talk about what I'm having, right? I want to go high carb in here. So this is what I'm doing. Yeah? Lovely. We've got California Crunch. That's a very nice one, that is. We've got the salmon one. A salmon avocado crunch. You don't like that one, do you? Yes, I do. Oh, you do? Which one do you like again? This one. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got a, This is like a sushi star, but it comes with some good stuff. This one's a spicy one. I like this one. Do you, you like them? Yeah. Yeah, she, like, she likes them. Uh, I forgot that one. That one's this California one, isn't it? Same, same yeah, it's the same one, same one, see? Uh, and this one is the Katsu Crunch. Chanel likes that one. Very nice. This one Chanel's going to have. I don't know if I'll have any of this. This one's got loads of red and green shit all over it. Looks a bit healthy for me. Oh, hang on a minute. Spicy salmon. No, oh, it's all right, that one. And then we've got some chicken, because you can't get away with... You can't have... Yo, she should have the Korean chicken, can you? It's kind of illegal. That's what I heard, yeah. You had it once. You're fucking wanted. You've got a warrant out for your arrest for being a fucking cunt. And Chanel's got fucking shit, because she's a knobhead. What? I'm being really nice. I was giving you so many compliments off camera. You come on camera, I just treat you like a knob. This is the meal. We've got this going in. We need to get it on because it's 10 past nine. Josh needs to get his food in. And then we've got one more meal after this. Bosh, done. See? You might have missed seeing the chicken and rice meal, which is boring. So now I'm not trying to jiggle the camera. It's jiggling on its own. Well, it's because I'm that massive. Go, get, I, you're not, I'm not telling you you can't dish it up. I'm still talking. You've got to crack on with life. Yeah, you can have all of that by yourself, yeah. Um, well, I forgot what I was talking about now, because you'll be a knobhead. Fuck life up. I was. What do you mean? Yeah, you started being a knob. You've been in this video more than the, some of the food has. What's that bit? That's crab sticks. Crab sticks. Yeah. My nan used to give me crab sticks when I was little. I'll tell you what, I bought, I, bought, I bought a pack home once, and my dad was like, they fucking stink. Next morning I woke up, they were in the bin. <laughs> It was like, they're fucking horrible. I'm going to eat this meal before she gets on. Plus, also, I'm going to get smacked by the looks of it. Right, I've well and truly fucked up here because this hasn't recorded any of the sound. So I'm going to have to do a voiceover of me eating a meal, right? And I was just watching telly. Look, I was sitting here, I'm filming myself watching telly. I don't know what's going on. But he didn't record. Now, I can't remember what I said here and what was going on because this was filmed... I don't even know what day this was filmed. Tuesday. Was it filmed on Wednesday? This was filmed Wednesday. It's currently the Friday, all right? A lot's happened between now and then. But what I can tell is what I have. So, I am using a bit of a bigger bread at the minute. Well, I have bought the normal bread I usually have. So, it, usually it's four slices of toast, medium toast. Well, that's not medium toast... It's fucking large. So it works out to about three slices of the large if we're using the same tiger bread that we're using for this. Which is what we currently use. I usually use the medium tiger bread by Warburton's, right? So for the same grammage of garbage, we're going for three, all right? I'd much rather four. I like the four. A little bit smaller, a bit easier to eat. I know what you mean. Uh, it's more volume of food, but do you know what? It seems to go down a bit nicer. Then we have 25 grams of dark chocolate, 100 grams of pineapple, 
And that's mixed in with a shake we have, you can see on the side right there in the pink burn. Well, it's pink. It's in grey. It's the one that's in the uh, E something. E M. What's it called? I don't know. But they uh, one of the shakers I got from the Olympia. So it's one of them. The two and, a half, two and a half scoops of whey protein going in. Now, the rest of this segment is about three minutes long. So you're going to listen to me try and guess what I'm saying. So right here, I'm just talking, scratching the ear. You know, as you do. This was about half past 11 at night. Actually, a bit earlier than that, because I got to bed a little bit earlier on the, on the Wednesday. I was proper chuffed at that. So it's a little bit earlier. It's probably just after 11 that I'm getting this meal in, considering that I'll probably finish off the cheat meal uh, probably about half past, just after half past nine. So, it's nine. so yeah, probably around about that, that, that time, getting it in just before I get into bed. Literally, what I'll do, there you go, talking about the shake there, glugging it down. Ooh, there he is. Look, get it down, you lads. Um, what I do is I, I get this meal in and then it's like health sucks, growth hormone, straight to bed. No fucking around. Oh, I actually remember what I was saying then. I was talking about how that in this push-up, or like well, the last push-up especially, I've come to terms with just like chilling out a little bit. Just be like, yeah, chilling out about just getting to bed and things like that. Like what I'm trying to say is basically I would get myself all sort of riled up because oh, I'm going to be in bed at a certain time, I'm going to be in bed at a certain time, and you know how important sleep is, etc. But if I'm not getting the calories in, I'm not going to grow. So, like, whereas when my food, when I start a push-up, it's like dark chocolate and a shake. Well, dark chocolate and a shake takes two minutes, if that, to get in. Switch the shake down, waft the dark chocolate, off you go. You're in bed within 15 minutes of getting that in. Less than that, let's be honest. Do you know what I mean? 10, 5, you know, at best. Probably about 10 because I'm slow at getting up the stairs. But when you start doing four slices of toast, 100 grams of pineapple, whatever other food you're doing, you know, it's going to take you 20 minutes to eat that. It's going to take a little bit longer to get that food down. So automatically you're going to bed later. It's going to happen. But you have to get up at the same time to get that first meal in. You have to sort of get up at the first time. I mean, get up, get get up, 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 get up at that time. So I'm fucking me words here. So you're gonna be fuck up my words. But you you have to get up at that time because you got work to do. Like I work for myself, but I've got check ins to do. Like I've got people three weeks out. Their diet food's changing like daily. I've got to be up in the morning. Got to get get to get to get get to that. You know, can't have fucking start check ins of at ten o'clock because I want to get up at nine. Well, I don't work. Some you know. At three and a half weeks out, you're getting up at three, four in the morning because you're fucking wired. You know, you're pilled, you're ready to go. So I want to get on there at a decent time. Right, what's going on? You know, get those check-ins done, like I did on this day, before my meal one. Get out of my cardio. It's all about organising your day, do you know what I mean? And that's where you sort of just got to terms with it. Chill the fuck out, get the meals down. Because then if you start stressing, you struggle getting the food in. Struggling getting the food in, you're not growing. And you're getting a bit, a bit less sleep than you usually would. So, catch 22, is it? You want to grow? Do the fucking work. I've got about 15 seconds left of this. I don't know really what I'm going to say, but fuck it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I don't know what's going on here. And I hope this has worked as well. Because <laughs> otherwise, we've proper wanked it.